All right, we're on Sanibel Island. We're doing an afternoon stroll, and I literally, two people just walked by this, and I'm like, okay, there must be something wrong with it. Nope. It's a perfect walk show. All right, it's a good start. So it's around three o'clock in the afternoon. It is a super high tide. We're trying. It's, we just walked upon that awesome whelk, Sanibel Island. Um, we at, we're staying at Westwood Inn, but currently, you know, showing spots are they vary, depending on the tide and stuff. I've had good luck in front of West One Inn on previous trips. This trip, not so much. It's also, everyone is crowded in front of West One Inn. It's completely booked. There's just a lot of people hanging out. So we just have to keep walking to get away from all the people. And so I wasn't gonna start recording until we got further down there, but man, we just walked upon that whelk. So, there's no one around us at this exact moment, but if you look back there, it's way too crowded. We're trying to get away from all those people and see what we can find here. That was a nice walk. I mean, I'd be very happy with that. Oh, darn it. <laughs> all right, I'm not wearing my water shoes, but they're water shoes now. Fine, I'll dry them out. But um, <laughs> just got wet. My water shoes were still wet from earlier. Now my regular shoes are wet. Robert's like, well, in that case, I'm gonna go see what that shell is. <laughs> okay, run, run, run. We don't need to make it worse. <laughs> They'll dry quickly. <laughs> you what? Right here? Right here, Ford, is where we had really good luck earlier. So, by the what? I know, every day has been completely different. Run! <laughs> I, I really think it's going to be a good low tide tonight. We will, this is definitely the, you know, the last time during the day that we're going to be showing, but tonight, oh yes, we will be showing at night. It's fun. I enjoy showing at night. Yes. It's too high right now too high. There's another grouping of people up there that might be mile marker three. Because we're actually walking pretty quickly, so yes, this video I'm walking pretty quickly. As you can see, there's not any shells right here. So... only seen one shell pile. Well, I mean, of course we got that rag line. What is it? It's a, it's a little muscle still on the original. He's dead though. He ain't back. No, but I'm sure he's stinky. This is the highest tide. But we've already looked through that and we're ignoring it because it's full of dead fish. There's a piece of seaweed, plant life. Ocean life. Fleas? Did you say fleas? This is kind of when, like, if, it's, if something good's gonna wash up, something good will wash up. That's why we're looking forward to low tide because with the rough surf, that's the word I was looking for earlier, honey. Surf. Watch, watch it, watch it, watch it. The rough surf should. And I've also been finding a lot of like the conch feet. So that means there's a whole bunch of dead conch out there. They're just not washing up. There's a lip out there. There's a shelf. The surf has to be strong enough 
to push those big shells up over the shelf. And that's why after a storm, you tend to see the bigger shells because the surf is strong enough to push those over the shelves. We have not been lucky enough to be here after a storm. Maybe one day. I would go out there, but the only thing, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know what the health consequences of this water. Yeah, yeah. The one reason, the main reason we're not getting into the water this trip. Oh, that's a bummer. An angel wing. Wait, wait, I see a sea urchin. Anyway, red tide. We're not taking the chance of swallowing. Oh, he's dead. He's completely dead. So keep him. Oh my gosh. This is a completely different tide then. This is a new tide. All right, now I'm thinking we need to look through this. This is not the same tide line that we looked at yesterday. Because there was no sea urchins yesterday. No, there wasn't. It was last night's. This was from last night's tide. We'll look at it on the way back. We'll look at it on yeah, we'll look at it on the way back. Let's keep walking just, just until we see what all these people are looking at. That's it. Anyway, so the only reason we're not going into the water to try to get all the big shells, I don't want to breathe in this water. I don't want to, you always accidentally drink a little seawater when you get into the ocean. And with the whole red tide. We don't need to compromise our immunity. No, no, no. Not a good time to have a low immunity. Are these still hooked together? Oh, I've never found a cockle. All right. Let's take those two cockles. Let me put the sea urchins on top of them so they don't get squished. All right. So I was thinking we'd already done that tie, that line, but apparently we have not. I hear a boat. Ooh. Trying to get me. Oh. Robert said he saw someone holding a whole sand it a, dollar. It wasn't a huge one, but it was it was an old one too. It was it was like completely bleached out. Yeah. So I don't I she's very lucky. I've never found a completely whole one on the beach i've seen i've seen them still alive in the water but a washed up whole one i've not been that lucky but apparently it's possible robert saw someone carrying one that's awesome it's good to know it's a possibility anyway we're gonna keep walking i'll start recording once we get past these people see if there's any good shells up here um i don't think we've you're looking for a pink house. I haven't seen the pink house yet. Don't think we've reached it quite yet. Anyway, thanks for watching and we will see you in a little bit.